Are you a menstruating woman whose periods have suddenly stopped? My name is Linda Vitsoli. I'm a nutritional therapist and health coach specializing in women's health. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through some of the most common reasons for missed or absent periods. Absent periods are referred to as amenorrhea, and this can be either primary amenorrhea, which means you've never had a period in your life, or secondary amenorrhea, which means you've had a period, but for some reason they've stopped. So let me take you through some of the reasons why this could be. You're either pregnant or breastfeeding. Now our periods will naturally stop when we're pregnant due to the stopping of ovulation. The period may not return for many months after childbirth as well if you're breastfeeding. And this is due to the hormone of lactation, prolactin, stopping us from ovulating and having a period. Our bodies are clever. If they know that we're breastfeeding an infant, they will naturally want to help us space out pregnancies to avoid getting pregnant so soon after giving birth. Having said that, breastfeeding is not a reliable form of contraception, so please still ensure that you're careful. Okay, so what if you have a missed period, have done a pregnancy test, and you're not pregnant? Let's have a look at some other possible reasons. You are premenopausal. If you're in your mid 40s or over, you could be entering into the premenopausal years when periods become more erratic due to a decline in hormone production from the ovaries. When our ovaries start to produce less hormones during our menopausal years, we will ovulate less regularly, which will impact our cycles. You may also start to notice some menopausal symptoms such as hot flashes and night sweats, insomnia and irritability. If you're not in your premenopausal age, i.e. 45 years or over, and if you're experiencing these symptoms, it is important to investigate them as it can be a sign of serious hormonal imbalance or even premature ovarian failure. Hormonal imbalances. Our menstrual cycle is a delicate dance of various hormones, including estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and others. And when any of these hormones are out of balance, we can see changes in our menstrual cycle. Certain hormonal conditions like PCOS are characterized by irregular cycles due to elevated levels of certain hormones, such as testosterone, rather than the normal fluctuations of hormones during the menstrual cycle. These hormonal imbalances will stop the body from ovulating regularly, which will impact how often we have a period. Thyroid gland dysfunction. Both having an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism, and underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, cause menstrual irregularities. The thyroid has many functions in the body, from metabolic health, to energy production, to regulating the menstrual cycle. Too much or too little thyroid hormone can affect our menstrual cycle by making it irregular, too light, or too heavy. Thyroid issues can be identified with a simple blood test. Tumors on the pituitary gland, which sends messages to release hormones to the ovaries, can also impact the production of hormones, which can then lead to lack of periods. You are under stress. When we're under stress, our body will produce cortisol, our anti-stress hormone. Now, our bodies are built to handle a certain amount of stress, but if we're under chronic stress, for example, a very stressful job, financial worries, toxic relationships, or even chronic lack of sleep, under-eating, over-exercising, our body will be using our progesterone stores to make cortisol and therefore affecting our hormonal balance needed for our menstrual cycle to stay regular. Think of it this way, if we are running away from a saber-toothed tiger, it is not a safe time to have a baby, right? Our body knows this and will downregulate reproduction to ensure our survival and the survival of our offspring. However, it cannot tell the difference between being chased by a tiger and being stuck in traffic every day or having constant work deadlines or being in a toxic relationship where we're constantly fighting or anxious. So chronic stress will have a negative impact on our hormonal balance and menstrual cycle. You are over-exercising. Now, regular exercise is definitely important for overall health, and it is so important to move our bodies on a daily basis. I'm not telling you to be a couch potato here. However, some female competitive athletes can experience a lack of periods due to excessive exercise, especially athletes such as gymnasts, cyclists, long-distance runners, but also ballet dancers and rock climbers. This can be caused by low levels of body fat, but also because exercising makes the body release certain hormones, such as endorphins, these are what makes us feel good during exercise. However, high levels of these hormones are thought to affect how estrogen and progesterone work. 
Some athletes may also be on strict diets. Well, what does this have to do with you? Well, if you're doing very high intensity exercise on a regular basis, such as high intensity interval training, running, spinning, CrossFit, and other intense exercise routines, your periods may have stopped because of this. Overexercising can also be a stressor on the body, especially if paired with undernutrition or overall stress levels. I like to think about stress as a bucket. How full is your stress bucket? If it gets too full, the body will go into protective mode and our menstrual cycle will most likely be affected. And lastly, certain medications can also have an impact on your menstrual cycle. Medications such as antipsychotic drugs, antidepressants, chemotherapy, but also the oral contraceptive pill can dysregulate your menstrual cycle. So what can you do if your periods have stopped? Well, if the cause of the period stopping is not due to life stages such as pregnancy, breastfeeding, or menopause, you'll want to address your diet and lifestyle. Have you been under considerable stress lately? Are you over-exercising or doing frequent high-intensity exercise? Are you nourishing yourself adequately by eating enough calories, eating enough nutrient-dense foods, regular meals? Have you lost significant weight recently, or conversely, are you overweight? If you're experiencing symptoms of hormonal imbalance in addition to missed periods, such as facial or body hair, acne, cold hands and feet, hair loss and fatigue, dry skin or constipation, then you may want to go and have some testing done to rule out issues such as PCOS or thyroid imbalances. I hope this video was helpful in understanding what may be causing your periods to be irregular or absent. Let us know if you have a question or feedback in the comments below. We will be delving into the subject of hormones in more detail in other episodes, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our future episodes, and I'll see you again soon.